Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Chris. You're listening to Tales from the Tar Heel State. All right, so we got a good one this week. Lots to talk about. Um, Tanya and I had our 13th anniversary. Uh, that was pretty cool. Went down to a uh, bluegrass festival and um, saw Kyle Petty. That was hilarious. Not hilarious. He sounded fine. His voice was fine. A couple of songs were sad as shit. Kyle trying to make everybody cry. Um, a couple of songs he wrote weren't that bad. Um, he did one about a, a circus song, basically talking about his uh, racing career, which was pretty good. I, I have to say that was the song I liked the best. Uh, uh, we were supposed to stick around and watch the Cleverleys. That's who we went to see. and uh, But it was a barbecue thing as well. And uh, it was uh, the barbecue was fair to Midland at best. Um, the best part of the entire thing was the potent goat. And uh, some new cats I met down there, um, Austin and Mark. I want to give a big shout out to those guys at Celestial Wellness up in Winston Salem. If you're ever up there messing around, they're at 732 Trade Street. Go check out their stuff. They have uh, Delta 8 products, uh, CBD products. Um, they had like nighttime tea, morning teas. Um, really nice guys, really knowledgeable, and their uh, facility is in an old uh, candy factory. And so you can actually go in and tour it and watch them making the edibles and stuff, the gummies, and uh, take a little Willy Wonka tour there, if you will. Um, but for all your CBD uh, needs, man, check them out. Um, their website is www.celestial.health. And uh, check those cats out, man. They were really cool, really nice guys, Austin and Mark. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was really cool. Their potent goat was the Delta 8. I picked up some of that while I was there because I figured half the uh, crowd was probably undercover police officers, and I didn't want to spark up a doobie up in that motherfucker. So, uh, yeah, I scored one of their little vape pens. Tasted real nice. And, um, yeah, it's Delta 8. I mean, it actually gives you a pretty good buzz. I mean, I was pretty surprised. Um, yeah, actually gives you a, a pretty good buzz, man. Not completely like smoking weed, but really close. And uh, so if you're someone that gets, you know, sketched out and shit, smoking like all the potent ass weed that's out there these days, then, um, you know, this shit might be for you or even the other products that don't have the Delta 8 in it. Um, so, yeah, the potent goat and celestial wellness. Check those guys out. Um, they're not paying me to do this. I'm just telling you, I tried their shit. They gave me an edible and, uh, they were real cool cats and, uh, check out their place, man. You know, trying to promote some North Carolina love here on Tales from the Tar Heel State. Speaking of Tales from the Tar Heel State, the motherfucking Tar Heels are in the final four, bitches. Woo! Uh, that's what I'm talking about. And we're going to be playing the God dang Dukies, which is crazy. First time ever that we've met in the tournament that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. And I know for sure we never played in the Final Four. So you're looking at the biggest college basketball game in the history of the NCAA. Uh, the biggest rivalry and in the Final Four. It's fucking amazing. Um, really excited about that. Um, really hope we can uh, pull out a victory against Duke. And... Um, See who we end up with in the, uh, you know, in the final. If we're fortunate enough to get there. Um, so, yeah, that shit is wild, man. Can't believe it. So excited. Fucking Caleb Love hitting those uh, 27 second half points in that game uh, the other night. That was fucking amazing. And, um, yeah, those guys look great, man. Playing like a team on a mission. And uh, God, I got to love Hubert Davis. Um, what a coach, man. What a, what a nice guy and uh, pretty exciting uh, watching all the, the Tar Heel family. Keep on keeping on, baby. Um, so what else is happening, man? Holy shit, in the entertainment world, uh, Taylor Hawkins. R.I.P. Taylor Hawkins. Holy shit, I can't believe that guy died, man. I wonder what was going on with him. Um, I said he had chest pains and stuff and... Um, couldn't revive him that's sad as shit um my heart goes out to his family and uh his friends and the rest of the Foo Fighters there and poor Dave Grohl man I mean he's uh had a lot of success he's had like a lot of highs and some fucking lows bro 
Can't imagine. I'm sure that was had to be one of his best friends. I mean, those guys look like they were fucking brothers, and um, both being drummers and all, it's fucking wild. Um, so yeah, I hated to hear that. That was uh, surprising. I heard that. Um, I guess the morning of going down to the uh, the bluegrass thing. Um, that was down at Keenansville, North Carolina, by the way, Keenansville. And, uh, yeah, we left early on that. We couldn't stick around that late. Got home and uh, watched the uh, rest of the basketball games there. Saw Duke and all. And um, But, yeah, anyway, uh, Taylor Hawkins, man. Rest in peace, brother. Holy shit. What else? Entertainment world. The slap heard around the world at the uh, Oscars. Holy shit, man. Um, Will Smith slapping the shit out of Chris Rock. That is some wild shit, man. Fucking, I, when did it become okay to like walk on a stage and slap the shit out of a comedian? Um, the world has gone fucking crazy, man. Um, yeah, I, I don't understand what's going on, and that that was okay. Uh, shout out to Chris Rock taking that slap like a uh, like a gangster. Um, I can only imagine what would happen if he tried to pull that shit with, like, uh, Ali Sadiq or somebody like that. Or, uh, goddamn, somebody like Joe Rogan, fucking jiu-jitsu and uh, taekwondo. I think uh, Russell Peters as well is a fucking jiu-jitsu practitioner. You know, Russell Brand is a practitioner of jiu-jitsu. I mean, maybe Will Smith's delusional. Maybe he thinks he is a character. Um, maybe he's like uh, Tropic Thunder. I'm a dude what don't know what dude he is. Huh? <laughs> oh, my God. He's stuck in his character, man. He's going to be climbing out of a fucking uh, refrigerator box like Neil Armstrong. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking crazy shit. Um, so, yeah, that's wild as fuck. Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on there. I can't wait to hear what what transpires. Um but, yeah, what a wild time to be alive, man. It is a wild time to be alive. Um, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. So, yeah, the uh, barbecue down there at the uh, barbecue place, man, was uh, there was no smoke on that shit. If that's what comp- competition barbecue is, they can keep that shit. I can put that shit to shame. Cooking with real wood and shit makes all the difference in the world. And, um yeah, I mean, the barbecue was moist, but it had no smoke flavor. Um, they didn't really salt and pepper it. The sauce was really sweet tasting. And we were way down east. I would expect it to be a lot tangier and a lot less sweet than it was. Uh, so I was a little disappointed in that aspect. But, I mean, you know, I kind of thought that might be how it would be. Um, and it was. So, yeah, at least I know that... As far as I'm concerned, anyway, in my opinion, my barbecue is a lot better. And uh, so, yeah. What else is happening? I got to go to the fucking courthouse today. Got to be there at one o'clock because your boy is a registered voter, of course. And uh, I have been summoned for jury duty. That's right, motherfuckers. Jury duty. How would you like to have your uh, fate in my hands? Do you think I would be a just uh, jury person? I think I would. I think I'd be a really good jury person. In fact, I think I'd be the fucking jury foreman if I set my mind to it. What do you think about that shit? But, uh, yeah, for real. Got to be there at 1 o'clock today. We'll see if they dismiss me. I mean, I'll be honest. If they ask me a question, um, I'm not going to lie. So if they say something, you know, if they ask me something, I don't know. I might. Of course, I could be dismissed right away just being a white man. I have no idea. Um what's going to be like, or that somebody might want me because I'm a white man too. They might think I'm some racist fucking redneck from uh, Roxborough. And, uh, you know, they're only uh, partially right because I've got a little bit of red about me, but I'm not no fucking racist, dude. And um, so, yeah, maybe they'll pick me and they'll think I would uh, be a racist and they'll be sadly disappointed when I Go the other way. If I think that this shit ain't right, I will fucking say it ain't right. You can believe in that shit, and I don't give a fuck what color you are or nothing else. Um, I'm honest to a fault. Boy, has it got me in trouble in my life. So, um, 
Yeah, we'll see what happens. I might get picked. I might not. Um, I'm interested about it. But if I do get on a jury, holy shit, um, after it's all over and said and done, wouldn't that be something? Give me something to talk about on here. So that's pretty exciting. Um, Yeah, I look forward to seeing what happens today. I have no idea. I've never done this before. Um, My lovely bride, Tanya, she she had to do federal jury duty one time. And um, that was like fucking bank fraud stuff down in Greensboro. And they actually paid pretty good for fucking um, federal jury duty like that. But Person County, I don't expect, probably get about $10 a day. Um, that's more than I'm making now. Oh, shit. Goddamn. Um, anyways, yeah. Uh, what else is going on? Motherfucking jury duty. Oh, so yeah, when I go up to the jury duty today at 1, I'm going to go in a little early and hit this place called Rimco. Um they do exhaust work up there in Roxboro. And supposedly they're really good. And uh, going to go up there and get the exhaust done on this little Toyota I bought. That's right. I did buy that little car up in Virginia. Um, it's a pretty sweet little ride. Uh, it's very stock. I mean, a lot of the stuff is totally stock. The motor is not stock, apparently. Um, but the exhaust, they it's got a header and everything. And then... This cat that bought it, you know, the other guy was going to race it and ran out of money, and he rebuilt the motor and everything in it. And so it's got the big carburetor, you know, the Weber carb, not the big one, but, you know, a Weber carburetor on it, so there's no smog stuff on it. And it's got a header on it. And, um, but all the header comes, it's a long throw header, like a drag header, but then it comes down into one small pipe, and it's not nearly big enough for it to flow out like it should. And so the motor's not, um, Tacking up as quick as it should and stuff. It's really bogging the motor out. So I got to get that exhaust changed. And so I'm going to try to get that done today when I go up there. And other than that, the car really drives pretty good. It needs, um, probably need to grease the front end and everything. It's got grease fittings under it, which is amazing. Not like new cars. Um, it needs some new str- uh, shocks on it and stuff. Like, But, I mean, that shit is all original under it from what I can see. Looks like it's never been changed. Um, looks like this guy's had it since 06 and he's put... According to the odometer, he's put he put about thirty five hundred miles on the car since oh six. Um, so the motor was rebuilt back then, and he's just kept it in a temperature controlled warehouse and driven it from time to time, you know. And he said he never drives it anymore. And his brother in law got him into working on the car and stuff into Toyotas. And then he passed away a couple of years ago, and he's kind of lost interest in it. And so I got a really good deal on the car. I uh, got a bunch of little parts for it and everything, so I'm really excited about it. Um, little four cylinder runs great. Got there, bumped the switch, fire tried up. Um, five speed convertible tops. It's got a Targa top like a Porsche. Um, I even posted a picture of it on my uh, Twitter account, Big Chris Cooks, on Twitter. Big Chris, one word, Cooks. Um, so I guess at Big Chris Cooks on Twitter. You can uh, comment and talk to me there. Uh, you can always, you know, leave a comment at the end of the um, podcast. We also have a website, www.tellsfromthetarheelstate.com. You can always go on there. Tanya's got some um, blogs and stuff she's written, some short stories types of things she's got on there. You can check that out. Uh, we don't have any merch to buy. I don't know if I've got any fans enough to buy any merch. Um, but maybe someday. We'll see how this thing keeps rolling. Um yeah, the guys from the uh, Celestial Wellness invited me and Tanya to come up and uh, tour the uh, facility. So I'm going to have to go up there sometime and check those guys out, see if maybe they're interested in doing some advertising or something. Let me uh, put up something there at their place or, you know, um, maybe they'd like to work together and uh, see if we can grow some business together. I don't know. I don't know if they're doing any advertising yet online. Um, but they can certainly reach out to me and let me know what's up. If they want to uh, work together, that would be fucking awesome. And um, maybe I'll uh, send a uh, shout-out to Mark Johnson and um, see what's going on, see if those guys are interested, see if they listen to the podcast, see what they think. And uh, what else is happening? Yeah, I bought that little Toyota. That's fucking exciting. Uh, Still not drinking, y'all. Still not drinking. And uh, I was thinking yesterday that, you know, goddamn, drinking gave me an excuse to be an asshole. But now, you know, if I'm being an asshole, it's just me. (laughs) I don't have a fucking excuse. It's just me. I'm just that fucked up. I'm just that much of an asshole. And uh, 
So that doesn't necessarily make me feel great. You know, you can, that could bring you down even. Um, so there's that. <laughs> Woo! Not drinking, just an asshole. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. A little Dennis Leary throwback for you there. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, I went to the doctor um, to talk about all these hip problems and shit since I've never really talked to the doctor about it. Um, so I got to go get some x rays this week. Um, assuming I don't get fucking jury duty. Well, I don't know when the jury or when the trial would start, but I guess they're just selecting for jury members right now. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, fuck, I don't know where the hell is going with that shit, but uh, lost track. I guess that Delta A is pretty good. I've been hitting that. Oh, doctor, that's right. Um, did blood work and shit, and um, all my numbers are good, man. Fucking even my triglycerides since I quit drinking are good. All my cholesterol numbers are good. Everything's good. Liver's good. Function, liver, liver kidneys functions. Um, yeah, so even being a fat boy like I am, I don't know for whatever reason, all my cholesterol numbers and stuff are good. Yeah, they call me morbidly obese. Um, morbidly obese. What the fuck, doc? That doesn't make a motherfucker feel very good. I just told you I got depression, and then I just see on the fucking top of the page is fucking morbidly obese. It's like, god damn, holy shit, motherfuckers, man. Really know how to hurt a girl. I'm not as young as I once was. It's hard to keep my fucking girlish figure. I mean, god damn, what do you want from a brother? Doing the best I can, Doc. I'm trying to fucking lose weight. I quit fucking drinking. I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. Quit that shit 14 years ago next month, motherfuckers. Quit them sons of bitches. Quit fucking drinking. One guy said, nah, man, you quit doing everything fun, didn't you? I said, no, man, I still smoked the hell out of some weed, bro. Smoked the hell out of that shit. Um, if I didn't, I don't know what the hell I'd do, man. Fucking... Freak out all the goddamn time. Never fucking get any sleep. Constantly worrying about some shit. So sometimes I can smoke some weed and I'm like, oh, goddamn. I can sit down and listen to some music and enjoy it a little more and actually fucking get out of my head. Which is hard to do sometimes. Hard to do sometimes, man. I'm sure, I'm sure y'all know what that's like. I'm sure y'all can... Uh, Talk about what that's like and fucking relate, you know. We all got those fucking moments for sure. But uh, I might see if I can get Tanya to come in here. We can talk about our trip to the Bluegrass Festival together and uh, talk about some of the people watching we did. It was fucking interesting. And uh, see what she has to say about the trip. And uh, maybe we'll uh, talk about some anniversary type things and uh, see what she's up to. See if she wants to come in here. Give me just a minute and I will see if I can go locate my darling deer and see if she wants to come in here. Um, I'd say half. Half, half, yeah. yeah. We saw two, maybe two, or maybe three officers in uniform. I think only two for all the people that were there. Yeah. And then I said something about there's hardly any cops here. And you were like, oh, half the people here are cops. They're just not on duty. Yeah. Because yeah. it looked like a county event. Look like the county employees got free tickets to this event and just wore their, um, yeah, wore their Sunday best, as in jeans and cowboy boots and button-down shirts. Yeah, there were some boys there that looked like they were looking for trouble, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. They was looking for somebody to step out of line, see if they could kick some ass. Yeah, Bo Cephas. Yeah, with his, uh, white, with his white cowboy hat. Yeah. And his uh, flannel shirt unbuttoned down to his uh, chest area there, mm -hmm. down down near to his navel. And his big old ring. His big ring on. <laughs> and he had, uh, what was it there, uh, The he had the sunburn and then the white showing oh, yeah. on his chest. Oh. He, had, he had it really going on there. And then his big old buddy that yeah. was with him. Yeah, they were... They were uh, they were something there. Yeah, full of piss and vinegar. Oh, yeah. We saw some characters there. Yeah, but it was fun. S some uh, scary-looking ladies. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. There, there were some ladies there that the lady was questionable. Yeah. You know, they were uh, they were something else. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, we just had our 13th anniversary yesterday. 
Yes, we did. Married for 13 years, honey. Been together 16. Yeah. Come May, 16. Yep. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Yes. And you still love me after all these years. Yes. That's crazy, isn't it? You still love me? Oh, yeah. More than when we first got together. <laughs> You've been putting up with me all this time. How could I not love you? Yeah. So, I have to think we met when you were working at the bank, huh? Yes. That was fun. Yeah. Flirting. Used to come in there and flirt with you at the bank. Yep. I see how much his paycheck was. Yeah, yeah. I was making decent money then, I reckon, with all my overtime and everything I used to get. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty blonde curls come walking in. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, yeah. I was real slick, too. I was trying to uh, be all slick and slide my Tanya my, my number there, and I was uh, trying to... Uh, Remember this uh, phone number all day from my seismograph operator. And uh, so I wrote his number down on the card and slid it to Tanya. And then I walked out of the bank and realized that I had just written down that dude's number. Because when I walked out, that number was going in my head. And I was like, oh, my God, did I just write that down instead of my phone number? And I had to turn around and go back in and find out that I had. And how embarrassing. Yeah, it was embarrassing, all right. <laughs> but my, belt, my stomach was all tore up because you were, you know. Gave me your phone number, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this has never happened before. And he's so handsome. Oh, God, so handsome. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> so handsome. Yeah, we were talking about you before you walked back in, and then we had to get real quiet, all us ladies. Yeah, I bet y'all were cackling about me when I walked out. And I was like, how long should I wait to call him? I bet y'all were really cackling when I walked out the second time. No. But, oh, my God, what a doofus. <laughs> Is he just messing with you? But anyway, there you go. 13 years together. Here we are, still yep. together after all this time. 13 years later. Have you talked about the barbecue? At the... I did discuss that it yeah. was pretty shitty. Yeah. Wasn't hitting on much, was it? My husband Chris put that to shame. Yeah. His barbecue is way better. Bob leaps and bounds of that place. Yeah, it makes a difference using the... No uh, offense. Using wood and uh, making sauce that don't have that much sugar in it makes a big difference. Yeah. You know, it had way too much uh, tomato base and way too much uh, sugar in it for my taste for Eastern North Carolina style barbecue. Yeah, and I guess it's up to the cook. You know. And I don't eat really cold slaw anyway, but what'd you think of that slaw? Tastes like KFC. Tastes like KFC. It tastes like my grandma made it. Yeah. <laughs> and the musical uh, acts. Oh. Yeah, some of it left a little to be desired. Um, Kyle Petty. Kyle was all right. I mean, he's up there mostly by himself, which you got to give a give him credit for that. And he was personable, and he seemed like a a genuine fella. And uh, has a very James Taylor esque. Yeah, sound his voice. Yeah, he had a good voice. You yeah, know, he sounded good singing and stuff. Better than that poor gal. She was a little flat. I thought of several times she was hurting my ear. And uh, yeah, I'm not a perfect singer, but I know when I'm fucking flat. And I hope she knew when she was flat, because I heard it on more than one occasion. I'd say give she needs to give her uh, awards that she's won to Kyle Petty. Because <laughs> he did a way better uh, job than she did, unfortunately. That, Sorry, sweetheart. That, that's funny. And she's uh, won several International Bluegrass Association awards. Um, but she's from Minnesota, and she didn't really sound like she fit in. She had on this uh, sparkly... Fucking mini skirt and cowboy boots and, yeah, no. It was a little uh, excessive for the Carolina League. <laughs> she is, who dresses you? <laughs> who dresses you? So, yeah, she uh, she looked a little bit. Uh, out of place. A little bit out of place. Yeah. She, she was trying hard, though. I'll give her that. But uh, the crowd was uh, interesting. And all of the uh, barbecue had already been cooked when we got there, so there was just a few food trucks out there. Yeah. So that was a little disappointing. I didn't really get to see any of the barbecue cooking, which I was hoping to get a uh, check out some of that shit. But I can taste from what I tasted that they were using fucking gas. And yeah, there was no smoke stick flavor. Stick that up your ass. Yeah. And a lot of gristle. And taste the meat, not the heat, my ass. Yeah. Fucking Hank like Hill. I said, if you want real barbecue, check out my husband. <laughs> well, yeah, check out my husband. I don't have a fucking restaurant, so you can't buy it from me. But uh, eventually I will get enough videos out there, and you can try to fucking cook your own and and uh, take my guidance. But um, Or you can tell me to go fuck myself, and you can go eat some of that fucking gas-fed bullshit. How about the barbecue. vendors? 
Which ones? The ones that were there? Yeah. How we didn't about, try none of it? It was about 10 or 15 vendors there. I mean, I talked about the potent goat and the guys up at uh, awesome. Celestial Wellness already. Gave those guys a big old shout out. Woohoo! Yeah, they were great. Austin and Mark. Did a great job. Hopefully Check them out. Sold out. And, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's how that went. And I talked about buying the car. I got jury duty. <laughs> talked about all that shit already yeah, so that's what i get for being a goddamn voter <laughs> fucking want to vote you gotta fucking go to fucking jury duty once in a while yeah you know but hopefully if i do get on jury duty like i say if i hopefully it'll be an interesting trial and uh, i'll get something to talk about when it's all over and said and done but um anyway you guys thanks for listening and um i'll try to catch up with you maybe by the end of the week we'll see don't know how it's going to be um what's going on this week or whatever um so maybe i'll check in with you later and let you know if i got jury duty let you know if my little car accelerates a little better a little more responsive once i get the exhaust changed out which hopefully i'll get done today and uh again shout out to those guys the potent goat uh you can definitely catch a buzz on that stuff guys if you want to go out there and get a little toasty and you don't want to do illegal marijuana uh check those guys out man and if you don't want to do that you can uh get their other products yeah they some have morning CBD. tea and yeah. the uh, evening tea to help you relax and sleep in the evening and um so again that's uh, celestial wellness and um it's up in winston salem. salem yeah you can check those guys out and um anyways yeah we'll talk to y'all soon and uh thanks for listening